Hello there, welcome back, hope you're doing well. This one's a classic, Of The Girl by Pearl Jam off the binaural album. And this one is for, frankly, the very generous Mr. Martin Steiger, who's been a patron since day one, I believe. So, another one for you, Martin. Now, you're probably thinking, Matt, what are you doing with your electric guitar? Of The Girl is played on an acoustic. Well, yes, it is played on an acoustic. And also, why are you in standard tuning? Like that. This is actually tuned to Alice in Chains tuning, which is down half a step. Well, let me tell you why. If you know Martin like I do, and I'm taking a liberty here, Martin, so I hope you're appreciating this. If not, then sorry. Uh, but he does love a live version. So what we're going to go through is the album version, but also some live stuff as well. Now, the tone I'm going for is neck pickup on a strap, which is, I think, what Stone plays it on live. And I'm going with my Odyssey again. It's just an amazing pedal. You're going to be hearing a lot about this. Um, but if you've got like an Archer or a Clon or a Tube Screamer, any of those sorts of pedals that give you a bit of a light overdrive, then all good. So it'll sound like this, hopefully. Here there's a little bit of break up there when I play harder. When I play softer. So that is the tone I'm going for. Now you're basically just playing one chord for most of this. So you can fret that bad boy. First and second fingers on the first fret on the B string, second fret on the G. And the D and the E are open, but you only play the E for sort of incidental stuff. Mainly you're here. And your first finger is going to come off and on. So, intro bit. So you're just playing the root and the fifth there, okay? So there's a bit of noodling at the beginning. So one of the little phrases you can play is this. that up by taking your first finger off. Okay, now I'm not playing exact stuff, but I'll tab one of the parts, which is this. Or... Noodly part. He goes into this. And that is the first riff. It's a really, it's like a part of a blues run. Okay, so that you're going to play. You can still fret that with your second finger if you like. So that is followed by this run. Slight bend on the third fret there on the D string as well. Which is part of a D blues. So um, we'll look at Mike's stuff as well in another lesson. That'll be fun because it's a great one to solo over. So, we're into the verse. Now, the first time you play this, you're going to play the open D on the first uh, beat of the bar, okay? So you're going to play two, three, four. Thereafter, you don't pick it. At least I don't think you do. I think, And so it's going to sound like this. Okay, so that slowly. Okay, and that plays throughout the verse. Um, then you have this next bit. This is kind of like a bridge section, and 
I thought it was a bit kind of noodly, but it does follow an actual pattern, on, both on the album and on the live version, okay? So this main motif, if you like, goes like this. <laughs> one time round okay and then it loops around but on the second bar that's usually where he changes it up a little bit and puts in some really subtle fills okay so <laughs> so that third one is a repeat of the first one and then you're going to play which is essentially the verse riff, right? So not too tricky to play, but let me go through that bit very slowly. So one, two, three, four. Now you might as well keep your second finger planted on the second fret on the G string for most of this phrase, okay? First bar. And the last note carries over into the next bar. Okay, so that's just two, three, four, one. Okay, so the first thing has come off again for that one. The second time round when he plays this bar, he plays something like this. Two, three, four, one. Something like that. So he's just alternating between. Stuff like that, right? So it's very subtle variations, but just noodle around with it and have fun. Now the third bar is the same as the first, but you're going to start on the one and. So that is two, three, four, one. Okay, so just a repeat of the first um, first bar. And then the last bar is two, three, four, one. Okay. So that through again. I'll play it around twice for you. again all right so that's it that's the verse and the chorus bits done now the chorus is cool mixes up again a little bit but you start with this phrase now i'm not sure not 100 percent sure he might just be playing this so let's go through that first again same position as we were playing before but you're going to involve your either your third finger or your little finger on the third fret on the uh, B string, okay? And you're gonna play this. And that again. Just as per tab, okay? But you could actually play this with it. together sounds like this if you wanted up to you I'll put the tab up there so feel free to if you like now you're gonna go into an F chord to an A minor chord now you could play it down here and then back into That sounds more like the album version, okay? So I would recommend you do that. F major, so you're on the first fret. 
As you slide up, just take your middle finger off and strike it again when you hit the fifth fret, okay? So that slowly. And my second finger comes off pretty much straight away. All right, for the slide. Um, that sounds to me a bit more like the album version. I think it might be done on a slide guitar, actually. Um, but live, he does something slightly different, which is really lovely, actually. It's a bit more subdued, but he does this. Which doesn't sound like much on its own, but trust me, go and play along with the live versions that they do. It sounds lovely. Um, and it's just outlining the same chords. that basically that is what he plays live so um those um i don't think i need to go through those slowly you'll you'll nail those no worries now the third time round, it just repeats the f to the a minor so the album version after the second time would be <laughs> A minor just hangs there for I think it's two bars so that's that uh, then you're gonna go into that bridge riff again which is the <laughs> and Mike's doing a solo there we'll do some Mike stuff in another video so I'm going to show you basically how he how to approach this solo um, as Mike. What would Mike do? Ask yourself that. Always ask myself that. Now there's one other part which is like a sort of middle eight bit and I think this is straight from the album version and it goes like this. Round well, um, I think Mike's playing the same thing as well. Again, it's just a variation on the theme, right? You can keep that shape there, and you're just going to include the uh, third fret on the B string. So that is. Then that. That little run. Turn around, I guess. friends is it so i hope you enjoyed that everyone and martin i hope i didn't take too many liberties with that but i'm sure you like the live bits that i put in there so if not then uh, you know just tune your guitar down and you can play along to the album version anyway thanks again for your support and thank you everyone for watching and liking and subscribing and all that sort of good stuff it's brilliant 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 i love it see you soon cheers bye bye